and what the heck, four betas? Apple just released iOS 9.3.2 beta 4. This is very, very unusual for such a minor update. I mean, really, we usually see this many for something significant like 9.3. I mean, I saw seven betas, but in this video, like usual, I wanna discuss any and all new features, bug fixes, and basically everything you need to know about this update. So it's a very small update, less than 30 megabytes for my 6S. It was a very fast install. So upon uh, you know checking it out, seeing if there are any new toggles, any new features. Now another change is that Apple fixed the way Siri works from the lock screen. So in this latest version, I cannot get it to uh, trigger the bypass I showed you guys just yesterday. Siri, search Twitter for gmail.com. Okay, so I'm gonna lock my device with a passcode. If we enable Siri, that bleed through is still here. This shouldn't be here, but it is. But you cannot click on links anymore. They are no longer able to be clicked in this latest version. So you can see it's almost clickable here, but going in here, it's not. So that has been fixed in this latest version of 9.3.2. I think you guys will be very, very surprised and happy with just how smooth this update is. It is so, if I mean, it just feels great on my 6S. It's much, much faster. It might be the Core 2 Duo kicking in finally. <laughs> just kidding, but you know, it's a great update. I think you guys will love it, especially if anyone is updating from 9.2.1 below 9.3, you will notice a huge update. Not saying you should if you're holding out for a jailbreak, but it is an option. So as we know, the whole deal with 9.3.2 was the ability to enable both of these at the same time. That's still here. And I just wanna run through some bug fixes with you guys real quick. And the first thing I wanna check is if the respring bug still works. So basically respring your device using a 3D touch glitch, which I cannot get to work. Weird, okay, that's the first. Uh, what the heck just happened? Okay, so it's a little bit different, but can I get the device to actually respring? Okay, there we go. So I did get it to work. You know, the respring bug still works in this latest beta. Now I just wanna show you guys that Game Boy Advance for iOS is still working as well on this latest version. So I can set my time back. This won't open like usual, but it still works through the multitasking pane. So uh, nice to see this still working here. Now let's check the iPhone 6S Plus. Has the landscape bug been fixed? All right, so just to show you guys, I am on the latest firmware, latest build number. I am going to attempt to see if the lag has been fixed in landscape. Nope, four betas and uh, you know, we still have this bug here. I have no idea why this happens, but I have this awful lag on my 6S Plus, so um, yeah, that's definitely still there. So checking the storage, there's no difference. Usually there's about 100 megabytes that gets cleared. Now there's no difference. 3.2 gigabytes, it stayed there. Now, as far as speed, I went ahead and ran a Geekbench, and this is the score I got on this latest version, beta 4, 2567 single, 4463 multi-core. Now going to the previous one, it's evident that it is a little bit lower, and I don't know why that is, it keeps jumping up and down, Geekbench isn't the most accurate way to uh, tell the speed differences, but I've had quite a journey. It keeps going up and down and you know, whatever. But the speed in terms of fluidity, man, it is so great. You guys will love just how tight and you know fluid everything feels on this latest version. If you guys are going from an older firmware, you will certainly notice it. And it's very apparent on older devices as well. I'll be sure to do a full speed test. But in any case, small little update, guys. I can't even say if there will be a fifth beta. Who knows? Maybe Apple will surprise us yet again. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Just a small little security update. So far, not much in terms of features. Peace.